everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa, and today I'm doing a collab with the Faithful Fab Nine. And we are doing our small YouTuber collab, which we create a look on someone who has under 5K. And I believe Embrace Your Beauty by Chantel picked this time. And she picked. I don't know how to say her last name, but I will link her original video down below of the look I'm creating. And she used the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And I'm just gonna tell you who the ladies are in my collab group. And if you want, you could definitely check out their channels down below and check out their videos as well. We have Embrace Your Beauty by Chantel. We have Amethyst Winters, we have Faye Blatcher, we have Dee Dee Decor Beauty, Desi's Corner, Little Miss Betsy, and Little Miss Nap. And I also forgot to mention we have Laura from Gold Star Work as well in our collab group. So we're just gonna get into this video. And I'm not gonna do like the face makeup. I already applied my base. We're just gonna focus on the eyes and the lip. Step one, she applied, I think she used a concealer. It was in a pot for her eye primer. So I'm gonna do that now. Guys, so sit back and enjoy the video. Love you guys. And I will see you in my next video. <laughs> And I'm using my NARS Soft Matte Primer in Chantilly, which is very, very light for me. So it's a good way to get some use out of it by using it as a primer. And because it's so light, the colors will pop. Oh, and I also want to say happy 4th of July because this video will be going up on the 4th. I hope you all have a wonderful 4th of July. I know a lot of places are closed for the fireworks, but at least hopefully you could spend the day with your family. And then she went and set down the primer with a loose powder. I'm using my e.l.f. Halo Glow Loose Setting Powder. We'll go into the palette for step three. She used... I'm not sure which shade she used, but I know she used a pink in the crease. So I'm gonna go in with Feels right here. And I'm just gonna build this color up in the crease and I'm using the brush the palette came with. I had to search for this brush. I know my Aunt Sandy just bought this palette on Sephora for sale. So, Aunt Sandy, if you're watching this, this is a look you could recreate. <laughs> okay, and then for step four, a Bing, and she also built this in the crease as well. Try to keep it closer to my lid and I'm gonna when I bring it around the corner I'm gonna try to bring it down to kind of round it because I did do my base makeup first and then for step five she used the shade devilish and use that in the outer <laughs> So I'm taking a smaller fluffy blending brush and just slowly patting it with like small strokes to build it up in the V. And for step six, she also used the last shade in the palette, Privacy. It's more of a brown and use that in the outer V as well. I 
and I am going to carry up a little bit into my crease as well. Okay, for step seven, we are going to cut the crease, and I'm going to use the same NARS concealer, but I'm not going to cut the whole crease. I'm just going to try to keep it towards the inner part of my lid. And I'm using a small little brush to do that. And what I like to do when I do like a half cut crease, I like to take my finger and pat the concealer to try to blend it into the shadow so it's not like a harsh line. For step eight, I'm going to go into the lightest shade. It's a matte cream shade, hot spot, and I'm going to pat that on the concealer to set the concealer. With like a flat shader brush. You don't have to do that. Like if you wanted to, you could go straight on the shimmer shade because it will help um, the shimmer shade really pop and stick to your eye. I'm gonna go in with Bang Bang, this shimmery pink, and I'm gonna go over the eye and I'm gonna concentrate more towards the center, like kind of blending where the concealer is. I'm going to take a little bit, but I want to leave the inner part, like with the cr matte cream shade, because I think it helps like brighten, and I think that is what Tina does. When I see was looking through Tina's videos, this video stood out to me because I haven't used this palette in so long, the Naked Cherry, and oh, I just thought it was a pretty look. And one of my aunts said she bought it recently. It just made, you know, this palette stand out to me. All right, that's pretty much it. I'm going to curl my lashes because that is what Tina did. I never curl my lashes. This is the e.l.f. eyelash curler. And I just kind of squeeze it like pulsing to try to get the curl. Tina does go in with a black liner in her lower waterline. This is the Kat Von D um, cake pencil, and I believe it's in Trooper Black. That Tina didn't do, but I'm just gonna take the color Feels, the one I started with in my crease, and I'm gonna take the brush that came in the palette, the bottom part, my cat's crying, and I'm just gonna run this in my lower area just to try to blend everything. For mascara, I'm going to go in with the Bambi Eye Mascara by from L'Oreal. For lipstick, Tina did have the bullet lipstick from this line. They had like a, I don't know what the lipstick was called, but it looked like, like a black, dark cherry color. And this color right here, uh, Little Star from ColourPop. It was a Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collab. It was limited edition. I don't think it's available anymore, but I'm sure if you're re trying to recreate this look, you could find like a, a deep red lipstick. And I'm just gonna pop that on. This lipstick's more of a matte. It's drying down, so it will stay put. But that is it, guys. That is the look, Tina's look, with the Urban Decay Naked Cherry. <laughs> nice cherry pink look and I'm trying to incorporate some kind of 4th of July theme going on with the red white and blue <laughs> but if you guys are not already I would love for you to subscribe to all my friends from the faithful fab nine and also check out Tina's channel she has lots of beautiful looks and she, I did check out her channel a little and she has some unboxings and what else? She was showing her haul from Alta. So yeah, we definitely need to support each other on this platform. Okay, guys, have a happy 4th of July and I will see you Monday. All right, bye.